get it we will be going through this question that's design a number container system that appeared in bi-weekly contest 33 and the question statement is design a number container system that can do the following insert or replace a number that at the given index in the system return the smallest index for the given number in the system and we have been given two functions that is change and find so what does this change and find do first let's let's just see that what does change do so in change we will be having two parameters that is index and a number so i'll just follow up on this example that is given right here that is if a change is called with 2 and 10 so what we can do is we'll just see that 2 is my index does 2 have any number appearing before it does not have so i'll just initialize 2 with 10 that means at index 2 we have a value 10 after that i'll go on to 1 and 10 i'll see does 1 appear here it is not so i'll just reassign this value okay and again i'll go here and so we just see that 3 or the third index has the value 10 and the fifth index we have a value 10 and when we come to a find operation that is find we just get a number as a parameter and we just see that if 10 exists in our uh, memory so it does exist and which is the lowest index or the smallest index where it exists so as you can see that one is the smallest index where 10 appears so we'll just return a one so this is what has been done here after that we go to change that says that we need to change 1 and 20 so as you can see one has the index one has 10 already right so this has already appeared so what we need to do right now is at index 1 we need to change this 10 to 20 so this is what this change does if an index has already appeared at the same index and there exists a value okay and after that there is just a find operation we so we just need to return the value which appears to the smallest one okay and mind you when we are doing this operation that is one and two we do not need to return anything here right so this is what you have to do and if you do a find operation on 10 you see where is 10 appearing so 10 is appearing on index 2 3 and 5 it is not appearing on 1 anymore okay so that is why we will return a 2 and this is what we have returned here so how to implement this part so this was completely an implementation based question so what i did at the contest was i initialized something like a, a map of a map of integer there is a map of integer and a set of integers and why a set of integers i'll be explaining that part and again a map of integer and an integer okay so these are the two parameters that i had uh sorry the data structure that i had taken to implement this now let's got uh, get uh, let's just get on to the part on how i did it okay so i'll just get you through the code while explaining it because this is an implementation one so there's no in, uh, correct intuition just behind it okay so th this is just complete implementation part okay so what we can do is i've implemented a map of int and set which i just told you and a map of int comma int now what does these two data structure do right here how does it help us so taking this example let's just say my map of integer integer and a set is here and a map of integer and an integer is right here okay so i'll just write this here now let's just see what we do so at the find operation you will never get anything because there's nothing in my map right now so you just return a minus one okay so that is a completely uh, trivial case so after that we come to a change part we see that we need to do 2 and 10 okay so for 2 and 10 what we see uh, does anything appear in my map right now there is nothing in my map right so what will i say that the value 10 the value 10 is occurring at which index it is occurring at the second index and consecutively what i'll do is in my another map what i'll do is i'll just simply say that at 2 at the index 2 i have the value 10 so this is one of the things that i've done and why i'm doing this you'll get on to it when you do another operation of same kind okay then you'll understand why i'm taking these two parts now we get on to 1 and 10 so 1 is not there 
obviously sorry not this thing uh, it will just be added here since i have taken an int of set right so 10 is already present here we just add on to this value that uh, 10 is present at index 2 and index 1 and mind you this is a set so this will be in sorted order okay i'm not writing this in sorted order but let's just write it here only the sorted order itself so that it's easier for you to understand so this is one and two okay so this is how it looks right after that i come to the next operation that is three and ten so again i can just add on to it because 10 already exists in the set now again i get a change operation that is five and ten so index five I'll just put it into the set. Why? Because 10 already exists. Now, when I come to a find operation, I see that it already exists in my set. So I cannot return a minus one. So what do we need to return? We need to return the smallest index, right? And since I had taken a set data structure, I know that the smallest guy will obviously be at the front. So we just return the smallest one, right? So we just return the beginning iterator of the set. And how do we need to implement it i'll uh, show you in the code respectively when i will be uh, dry running it okay so don't worry about that so this part will be returned and it will give you one okay so this part is also done now again we come on to this change operation now this map comes into play you'll understand how i did this okay so how this map is actually helping us the second map so when i come to this part that is again a change of 1 and 20 i see that 20 is not present there in my map obviously right it is not present here this is not present here 20 is not present here but one is already present here right so mind you while i was having these maps okay what i was doing i was consecutively uh, adding up all the indexes when i was adding it here that means i've just written 2 and 10 i forgot to write actually this thing so this map would be looking right something like this so 3 and 10 and 5 and 10 okay sorry for this so this map is looking right now something like this so as you can see when uh, another index that comes up that is 1 and 20 i will first check in my second map that does one already exist here and i see that yes index 1 is occupied by some value already which is 10 right so what i need to do First of all, I need to take this value that is 10. Okay, I'll just change this color for better visualization. So I'll just take this value that is 10 and I'll say, okay, in my this map, I'll go to the 10 part and delete which index? I will delete the first index. Okay, so I'll delete this index. So this one will be deleted from here right now. And what I need to do is, I need to say on the first index now we will be having 20 so i know from this 10 i already deleted a one right so now i can create another one that is a 20 and i can say now you are at which position you are at index one but one thing to remember that is you actually changed the value here right you deleted it from this map but you did not uh, change it from here so also consecutively what you need to do is you need to change it from here also that is now at index 1 what is uh, there there is 20 so this is how our second map is helping us it is helping us to find out if a index is already present there okay which is having some another value so when i am encountering these type of cases i just simply take the uh, help of this map and i delete from this map right here i take the help from this map and i delete the consecutive not the consecutive sorry the corresponding index from this map right here and after i'm done deleting it what will i do i'll just simply change the values in this map okay so yeah this is it and let's get on to the code part on how to implement this so this one right here is just the map of int and set int and another map which i declared here so this code actually could have been a more simpler one but i uh, this is a, a dirty code <laughs> that i wrote which is obviously accepted don't worry about that so what you have to do is first in the change function what i did i just checked if my map has that number or not that means the number let's just say in change you got something like 1 comma 10 and let's just say 
in your map currently right now that is you have a number which is 20 and 20 is appearing on some indexes like 1 2 or something like a 7 and 2 okay let's just say a 7 and 2 so what will i do i'll just check if the number 10 exists already in the map it does not so i will need to create it okay and also mp1.find index and what was this a second maps job it was telling me that does this index the first index have something previously assigned to it that means if i take a 1 and 20 again okay i am saying something like this that is 1 and 20 and let's just say for right now for just understanding purpose that 1 uh, 2 exist on index something like right here so let's just say 7 is there and 7 is existing on 1 and 2 okay so now when i'm saying that 1 has to be inserted on 20 i will check into my second map so second map will obviously be holding a value which says that on index 1 i already had a 1 you cannot insert it this is what my second map will say here in this if condition so what will it do it will get on to the else if condition right and if uh, this if condition uh, actually satisfied it will just create a new index and just insert it okay but if that is not satisfied what will it do it will just delete the index from my second map delete it from here and delete it consecutively from here and just push it there okay so that is what this else if part is also doing and this what does this else part do so this else part says that in my map neither the number exist nor the index exist okay so what do we have to do so you have to go inside it if such a condition appears that your number is not existing but the index is appearing that means just bear with me uh, it might get confusing a little bit but i'll uh, reassure you that if you just dry run this once again you'll understand what is happening in this code okay so just bear with me so mp1.find index what does this say this just simply says that does this index appear beforehand or not so i'll just write it down instead of actually drawing it this actually says that in my map that is in my map does the index have a corresponding 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 value or not okay so in my second map does the index have a corresponding value or not so if it does have a value what we need to do you will need to delete from the first map as well as change the value on the second map otherwise what you need to do is you just need to change whatever the value is from the number one and insert the value in your second map so this is what the uh, entire thing does and the find operation is very simple if the number exists you just return a minus one if it does not exist you return a minus one here when the set size is zero but if it does exist what you need to do you just need to return the iterator to your sets first index value which is present in the set and that is the whole explanation for this code and if you did not understand i would say i'll still give a brief summary on how i did this and i think you must have been confused here but i'll still just give a short summary of again what happened so as to make you understand this properly so i had taken a map of one okay one map which has integer and a set what is this is doing is it is storing the numbers and where these numbers occur the indexes and another map is of int comma int what is this doing this is saying that on this index i have this number okay so this is what these two maps are doing and consecutively i have performed the operation that means if the number also does not exist number does not exist index also does not exist so do this if condition execute this condition but if the number exists and the index does not exist something like this case let's just say in my map i have a number 10 
and 10 exists on which which indexes let's just say 1 and 2 it exists here but i am saying i want to push again a 10 but on the third index does this 3 exist here obviously not so this if will be executed okay else it will be executed right here but but now we come to the else part right this is the else part now the else part says that my number is existing and also the index is existing again so both of them exist so you do this part okay and this there was a corner case which i had found so this else i had written there okay so when the index is not appearing here so this actually is taken by here also but still i did it for just a safety reason okay so these are the three parts on this question when both number and index are not existing and when number is existing but index is not existing and when both of the things are existing what do you do so these are the three points actually which you need to take care of okay and this is how the whole thing works and yeah if you did understand this thing uh question and the explanation please do like and subscribe yeah and yeah thank you for watching